Edward, the struggles would be low pay, um, insufficient like healthcare, mental health care. Uh, there are a lot of safety issues at work with uh, staff getting injured all the time. Um, staffing ratios being low, so that that kind of negatively impacted our client care. Um, and so basically, we wanted what was best to in order to keep good employees at our work to provide the best care for our kids. I wanted a change in my workplace, and I didn't know how to do that, so I was pretty grateful that some of my coworkers um, were able to get the ball rolling. So the first time that I met with them, like I instantly knew, like, okay, this is the path we need to go down to positively affect our workplace. Like, we need to go with the Teamsters, and we need to unionize, and like, we need to have a voice at work in order to make this a better place. For over 30 years, workers at that particular school and place for developmentally disabled uh, folks has been trying to get a voice at work. SEIU has been in there, AFT has been in there, and management who gets their money from the city and county of San Francisco and hires people like Littler Mendelssohn to stop the unions from coming in that has been totally unsuccessful over the last few years. He had a really, really straightforward message. Um, you know, a, a simple solution to a simple problem, which was, you're not being treated well at work, we can make that change. It was amazing. Um, he gave, I mean, not only from the, the resources that he gave, that he had to give us, whether it was, I mean, like Mike said, the flyers and the physical stuff, but also meetings set up with the city council and speaking at the labor council, you know, we, he always made sure that we felt supported by the labor community. And I noticed even going like door knocking with him, I got like a history of like the labor movement and like the labor movement in San Francisco and why unions are so important and vital in this country. And so, you know, I wouldn't have had that if it wasn't for him. Thanks to Rudy, I've gotten a, a little bit better with my fear of public speaking. Uh, he's asked me to speak at a lot of things, but uh, it was it was always great because um, because of Rudy, I am now on like you know a face to face, first name basis with a, a lot of people in the the labor council. Once they they uh, had called it, uh, our side just erupted. Um, it was just such an emotional. Uh, release. Under Rudy and his colleagues' leadership at Teamsters 856, they now have a voice at work. And that is one of the more exciting things that has happened in the labor movement in San Francisco. It's a good feeling to be sitting at a table and kind of be recognized as an equal to people that are making those decisions for us. I enjoy working with him. He's a good guy, he's very respectful. And um, he, um, he kind of goes back to the old days. It's not really work, it's a belief, what we do. And um, it's good to see that in somebody, because it's um, harder and harder to find in the labor movement. So that's why I really enjoy spending the time with Rudy.